Uh, matrices can be subsetted uh, in kind of the, the way that you would expect. Uh, so the first index is going to be um, the, the row index, and the second index is going to be the column index. Uh, and we can use numbers for this too. So, uh, so for example, if x is a matrix, it's a 2 by 3 matrix with the numbers 1 through 6 in it. Uh, if I take x with the, with the bracket 1, 2, that gives me the first row, second column, uh, and so that's going to be the, the number 3. And then the, the uh, second row, first column is going to be the number 2. Uh, you don't have to always specify both indices when subsetting a matrix. Uh, so, for example, if I say x uh, bracket one comma and then blank for the second index, that that notation indicates that I want the first row of the matrix. In which case, this is a vector one three five. If I wanted the second column of the matrix, I could just leave the first index blank and say x bracket and then comma two, uh, and that gives me the second column, which is three four. Uh, so by default, when a single element of a matrix is retrieved, um, is returned a vector of length 1 rather than a 1 by 1 matrix. So remember I said that before, the, the, the single square bracket operator always returns an object that's the same class. So the one thing that's, that sometimes is a little bit unexpected is that if I subset out a single element of a matrix, I don't get back a matrix. What I get back is just a vector with that number in it. So if I say x1, 2, that gives me the first row, second column of the matrix. That's just the number 3. And what I get back is a number 3, <clears throat> not a 1 by 1 matrix with the number 3 in it. Uh, this is usually what you want, although sometimes it can cause problems. And so you can turn off this default behavior by adding an extra argument to the subsetting operation, which is called drop. Uh, and the idea is that by default, drop is equal to true, and it drops the dimension. And so rather than getting a two-dimensional object back, you, you typically get a one-dimensional object back. However, if you want to preserve the dimensions of the object, you can say drop equal to false, and when I subset out the first row, second column, what I get back is a one-by-one one matrix with the element 3 in it. Um, now, also, when you subset a single column or a single row, um, you don't you, you by default you don't get a matrix back. So, for example, if I subset out the first row here, um, you might think that well, what should be returned is really a one by three matrix where there's one row and three columns, and the elements are one, three, five. Well, that's not actually what you get back. What you get back is a vector with the elements one, three, five. Um, usually, this is what you want, and it's okay. But if it's not, then you can always set the drop equal to false argument when you subset the matrix, uh, and then you get a 1 by 3 matrix with the elements 1, 3, and 5 in it.